death of a loved one is still affecting me inside. What is this? The sun, Leo. Seven of pentacles reverse. Eight of Cups reversed. Someone's been, could be a fears of abandonment. Someone's moving on from fears of abandonment. Someone is dealing with somebody that, for some of y'all guys that I'm picking up, this is someone outside of you. You're dealing with somebody that's had a death in their family or a loved one, and they're not growing past that. You. This could have been highlighted. You could have brought this out to light to someone or one of your friends, family members. Someone, someone brought something out to light. Somebody's not is this energy here is like this could be the family because there's a lack of growth here. Someone sees somebody's not growing not growing, not maturing. Fears of loss, fears of death, fears of unknown, fears of maturity. Whoever's embodying in this sun energy, let me see this death of a loved one, the sun. The hermit, yeah. This is so this must be affecting multiple people or multiple people in your friend group, family. But the sun energy and this hermit energy, this is, could be dealing with the Virgo. This energy is going their own way, is in, enlightening themselves, becoming more aware, seeing the brighter side of things, opening up their mind, expanding their horizons, having some sort of breakthrough. And this other energy is not growing, not, not investing into, someone's not healing. Someone's not healing from a death. And then there's another energy that is healing from a death. Whoever's energy this is, I feel like seven of coins reversed, eight of cups reversed, 10 of swords reversed. This energy is at some very low rock bottom place is not maybe not able to get over a death. I don't know how long ago this was for you guys, whoever this is for, but this energy just wants to be left alone to continue their healing. This person, this energy has got a different perspective on whatever this is regarding a death. This could also what I'm getting to, this could be a spiritual um, ego death. Dark Knight of the Soul. Death of a loved one is still affecting me inside. Abundance. Okay. Could have. Wow. They're giving me something about an inheritance. Could be siblings fighting over money. Okay, family members fighting over money, property, assets, left over. Okay, from of someone that passed over or a left one. Devil reverse detachment. There's a detachment. There's been a situation here regarding a loved one, death of a loved one. Someone's tied up with somebody. I feel like financially and they're untying themselves, freeing themselves from whatever bond this was. Could have been tied up with one of your siblings or family member relatives. Financially, you're someone's detaching and going their own way, doing their own thing. This other energy here is not growing. There's some sort of bad investment here also. Lack of growth. Give me two more cards and I'm just going to move forward. Full reverse. Two of wands. 
Show me this full reverse. Death of a loved one. Okay. There's, yeah, there's lack of growth. Could be imma immaturity. Could have passed away in childhood. Someone's, there's a lack of growth. There's... Show me this two of wands. Give me this, show me the two of wands, death of a loved one. I know I said I needed money for the kids, but I'm honestly not using the money for the kids. I'm abusing your money. This could be family members doing dark magic or spell work on you. Someone's feeling hope again. This energy's feeling hope again, but there's your other family members or your person's family members could still be in a dark space regarding this, but there's some sort of um, lack of growth. Somebody could be holding this over your, someone's, there's some sort of distraction or something like that. Trust your heart, your intuition, allow yourself to heal. Allow yourself time to heal and go your own way. On your, you're on your, someone's on their own journey, their own path, making some sort of plans about their next moves. Someone's trying to get you to doubt yourself or something of that nature. But you're, you're, you moving on. You're moving on. This could have affected you for a while. Someone's coming up out of. Someone's not affected by this death of a loved one anymore. Someone else is. That's what I'm seeing. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone's the uh, Six of Cups. Could be whoever this is that was affected by a death of a loved one or some sort of ending is making changes, changing their priorities, adapting changes, and healing inner childhood wounding. Somebody's, this could have been um, death of a parent. Okay. Someone is healing, they're healing. This is a time of healing. You could be dealing with a feminine energy that is healing you or some sort of counselor, therapist. There's a very nurturing um, energy here. Okay. So um, it could be a death of a child. Okay, I'm gonna stop here and continue on.